Well, hello, my name is Wendy Sanford, and I am the reference librarian at the Ringwood Public Library, and I welcome you to my mid-month Make-Its with Wendy craft. Today, I was thinking we might be a day after a winter storm, but I feel sorry for the birds. So I want to uh, make something that we can hang outside to help feed the birds. And what I thought I would make is a teacup bird feeder, like the one behind me that I made as a sample. It is made out of a teacup and saucer, and I put the bird seed in it, just some rope, a couple of beads to jazz it up. Um, the sample one I made out of Fiesta Wear. Uh, if you're not familiar with what Fiesta Wear is, um, it's actually more of a pottery than porcelain, so it's kind of heavy. Um, I needed the four strings to hold it up because it's kind of heavy. Um, I think what I'm going to use instead is a porcelain teacup. Let's gather up the supplies that we need. Um, most of all, we're going to need a teacup and a saucer. Um, the Fiesta that I used is actually chipped and scratched. Um, so that was perfect. You don't have to use good stuff. Uh, anything that you have hanging around, I bought this one at Goodwill. $1.99. So I'm going to use this one. It's a lighter glass. And other supplies that we need is rope. This is the jute rope. Scissors. E6000. I'm using the E6000 instead of the hot glue gun. You could use both, but I wouldn't trust the hot glue for outdoors. The E6000 should stand up to the to outdoor weather. Um, I have a yardstick, and I have some beads. I'm gonna put on the rope. Definitely bird seed. And I have a paper plate, a stick, and a pencil. So I have my 24 inches gathered them down to the bottom so that they're all in the same spot and around four inches up I'm going to place a knot just a knot right there and here's the four on the end later on I'll add some beads to them for when they hang down. Now, sometimes I have seen where the rope is just attached to this like that, but I kind of like the look of the of the four strings rather than just one one rope. And I think it also helps to uh, balance the saucer. So I'm going to stick with the with the four. To make the area bigger for the glue to hold, I actually double knotted this bottom. And our next step is to uh, glue it to the saucer, spread out the string. So to tighten the string, I'm gonna be using the paper plate. I'm going to divide the paper plate into four equal sections 
and just cut up to the line. And these cuts will secure the rope. I've chosen to use a paper plate that has a bit of a, a curve to it. It'll help. We put the saucer right in the middle of it. And I have the E6000. I'm putting a nice amount right in the center. Taking the string where the knot is and securing it there. It's spreading out the four pieces of string. What I want to do is put this string inside the cut that we made. All four sides. And, and center it. Center it the best that we can. And then just add the E6000 down the string. And then side number four. Okay, so the glue is laid down. Now all we have to do is press on the string. with the stick and just continue pressing. It'll take about 10 minutes for it to start to dry, but then it'll take about a half an hour total for it to dry that it's secured enough. So we could just Keep doing this for about 10 minutes, making sure that it's pressed on the plate. So it's been about a half an hour and this is holding on pretty well. And I'm not going to work on the saucer yet. I think I'd like to uh, do the bottom strands before we do the saucer. So I'm just going to turn this back over. And I'm going to pick out some of these beads. These are ponytail beads. And I'm going to do the pink and the green. They kind of look like cherries. So I have four of them, one for each strand. And just put it on and do one knot. And we'll do one for all four of the strands. 
pizza looking good. I'll trim them later. Now I want to get to putting putting the teacup on the saucer. I have a little bowl that I'm going to rest this in so that the beads are safe. And once again with the E6000, pick a spot and liberally spread the E6000. Then place the cup on its side with the handle up. Take a look. I think I'm needing more. Need it more in the front. Okay. And I'm securing it down. And this is going to be another waiting game. At least a half an hour to hold its spot. But I would give it about an hour just to be sure that it's, it's secure. It won't come back off. So the saucer is dry, the cup is attached, and then the hardest part of the craft are getting the four strings so that they will attach, but yet the saucer will stay straight. So I'm going to do that by placing it back down into its dish, and getting two strings from the left, two strings from the right, finding the middle, pinching it with my fingers, and seeing if that's straight. Okay. And then doing a knot. hope okay that looks straight to me All right if it's not then untie your knot and try try again but I'm pretty happy with mine I think that looks pretty straight so to finish the tip, I just took four of the pony beads and I put one on each of the tips and then knotted the top and Almost done. Just have to trim these bottom balls. I could do that here. There's one. Two. Three. And four. Okay. So the only thing I have left to do is to put some bird seed in it and let me hang it up so that I can do that. So I'm very happy with how this one turned out. I 
I think it's adorable. I think the birds will have enough room to perch themselves here and to pick at the bird seed. I have an S hook and I put that right through and that can hang off of a bush or a tree. And, and during these stormy nights, stormy days, I think that the birds are going to have a treat. So I hope that you had a treat here too. Are you going to have fun making a teacup bird feeder for your birds? And next month in February, we're still going to have an online mid-month Make It's with Wendy. But by the time March comes, I'm going to hope that it'll be inside the library again. So until I do see you, I thank you so much for being with me. And I say have a good, safe, healthy, happy night.